Good morning Aquarius, welcome back. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you a past, present and new love reading. Um, if you're not interested in the past or present, you can fast track this read and skip straight to the new love section, totally up to you. But for now we are going to kick off looking at what messages want to come through in regards to this past person, this past connection that you may still feel connected to. Um, okay, so they're coming through as the elephant. The upward pointing triangle does represent fire. You could be connecting to a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, now this person from the past is hurt, is broken. Um, I feel like they are carrying some kind of wound in regards to this connection okay now whether or not this person tells you but i still feel like they have a soft spot for you i get the sense that this person carries a soft spot for you i do feel that this connection that you had to this past person um, was a karmic connection it was a, it was a a connection that was brought to you to teach maybe this person a lesson or to teach you a lesson or to teach you um, something about spirituality in regards to yourself teach you more about yourself But I do get the sense that this person from the past still carries a soft spot for you. I kind of feel like with this elephant, this elephant is walking straight ahead. Um, it could be that this person from the past wants to walk towards you. Oh, this one wants to come through. Look at this, Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's like this person wants to come towards you. Um... I get the sense that they want to talk to you. There's an impulsive side to this person. It could be another air sign that you're connecting to, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Knight of Swords. But there's an impulsivity with this person. Maybe when they, when they communicated with you, or when they talk to you, they don't really think about things before they come rushing out of their mouth. And it could be something that they regret later with the elephant. Like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. It's like they think about it afterwards. Um, initially, they just kind of like just, you know, go straight head into things. But then later on, when they think about it, they're like, oh, they kind of regret it. Or they wish that they didn't say that. Or they wish that they hadn't said that or did that. Um, don't be surprised if this person makes contact with you, okay? I get the sense that they want to talk to you. Look at this, justice. This could have been someone that you were married to. Again, I get karmic connection. Um, this person wants to write things, correct things here with the justice. They want to iron something out here. Maybe something that kind of went south um i feel like they want to they want to fix it they want to mend it they want to make it better they want to correct it they want to apologize here with the justice card they want to bring balance to this connection for a small portion of you there could be um legalities here you could be dealing with legal matters concerning this person from the past Okay. You could be connecting to a Libran as well. But for others of you who maybe, um, if this person dragged your name through the mud, I'm getting that for some reason with the Knight of Swords and the Elephant. If this person dragged your name through the mud, I feel with the Justice card, this person would be getting their karma now. You might find out about it with the Justice card. Okay, there may be some clarity coming in here with this Justice. See how the, this person is holding a sword up? This is clarity. 
This is, you might be getting the clarity or the answers you need regarding how this person is, yeah, getting their karma. The universe is definitely um, righting the wrongs, okay? So let's take a look at the energy of the present person, the person that you're currently connecting to or um, loving up right now. Spirit angels and guides, what messages do you have for Aqua regarding their present person? Oh, we've got the lizard coming through. Haven't haven't gotten the lizard for a while. All right, so again, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's something very tough about this person. There could be a resilience coming through with this person. Um, I feel like they're, this present person with the lizard, see how this lizard's camouflaged into the background? I get that they're very um, adaptable. Okay, this person that you're connecting to in the present is a very adaptable kind of person. What do I mean by that? It's like um, they know how to just blend in, okay? Blend in with the family, blend in with the crowd. They just, they can blend in with different social groups. Yeah, they've just got a, a very, they've got that kind of personality that this person just gets along with lots of different people. Um... There's also a side to this person, Aqua, that this they haven't revealed to you. That's what I'm getting. There's something here that this person is camouflaging or that you may not know about, but they're doing a good job of maybe hiding that or masking that. Okay. Oh, we've got the Ace of Swords in reverse, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this person um, is very independent, very self-sufficient. I feel like they're doing well for themselves financially. This could be someone that acts like they don't need anybody. Okay, you may be in a relationship with this person, but right now they're acting like they're very independent and they don't need you. But I feel like that's a mask. Okay, I feel like it's a mask. I feel like deep down inside this person is quite sensitive. It's just that this person has been through a lot. I feel like with the Ace of Swords in reverse here, there's something that this person isn't telling you. Okay, they're masking something here. They're not revealing something here. This could be someone who says, you know, everything is fine in the present situation. Like if you were to ask them what's wrong, what's up. If they're kind of like acting detached or aloof with you, you know, you might be reaching out, asking them what's wrong, what's, what's going on. They could be saying nothing here. They could be saying, I'm fine. I'm getting the sense that this person um, is wearing a bit of a poker face, which reveals to me that there is something going on, but that maybe right now they just don't have the words to express and they don't know how to reveal it. Maybe they're not ready to be open and vulnerable here because I'm getting a thick skin. I'm getting a tough skin. Um... It could be something that they just feel like they just need to go through on their own independently here. Maybe they don't want to discuss you. That Maybe they don't want to discuss this with you. Maybe they don't want to involve you in whatever they're going through because they know that they will get through this on their own independently. They don't want to sort of involve you in this. They kind of want to leave you out of it. I feel with this person, um, there is 
is a sense that you feel comfortable with this person or well looked after with this person, Aqua. Or this person can provide you with the lifestyle, um, you know, with all the creature comforts. So there's this sense that you would live a beautiful, comfortable life with this person or they can provide you the creature comforts, no problem. Hmm. Yeah, but I feel like this person may be lacking clarity. It could be in regards to um, something that they're working on creatively as well. But I definitely feel like they're hiding something from you or they're not telling you something here. They could also be throwing themselves into their work to kind of avoid this Ace of Swords. Hmm. That's all I've got for you regarding the present person. Let's take a look at new love, Aqua. What messages are coming in regarding this new person? the new love in your life spirit angels and guides what messages do you have for aqua regarding this new person or the new love in their life or the person that's coming in this one wanted to come through we've got the rabbit spirit okay earth energy taurus virgo capricorn i feel like this new love um is very much interested in having a family uh, maybe they come with family already. Maybe this person has children. Uh, they want children if they don't have children here. Um, but they're very much attached to their family. Yeah. Okay, this person is a, a great provider. I'm getting here a great provider. Um, I'm getting workaholic as well for some reason. Okay, four of cups and two of wands. You may be unsure about this new person. We've got the four of cups here. This person may be giving you mixed messages or when they come in, they may be giving you mixed messages. Okay, you might not know really where you stand with this person. So like one minute they're showing you interest, the next minute they're not showing you interest here. Or this person could feel, I'm getting this new love, uh, maybe nervous or worry about this connection because they might feel like you're not interested in them. I'm getting a sense that this rabbit is anxious or worried because they might feel like you're not interested in them. Okay, it could be that your attention is on other things when you meet or if this is a new love interest right now, I feel like this new love person um, is really worried about you because they're sort of viewing you as someone who is disinterested in them right now. This new love could be offering you an opportunity to catch up with them or to spend time with them or to do something uh, with them romantically, but it's like you're not taking them up on that offer and it's concerning them. It could be here because you are coming out of a third party energy or you've had your heart broken in the past and you may be feeling like this new person could definitely hurt you, um, which I, I'm not getting that with the rabbit. I'm getting that this is a family kind of person. This is someone who wants family.
With the Two of Wands here, there may be some distance between you. Uh, this person may need to travel to come towards you here. But I feel like the Two of Wands is an energy of someone who is at some kind of a crossroad or needs to make some kind of a decision. Yeah, if they're kind of half in, half out with you, they definitely need to make some kind of a decision. Or it could be that this person is in between two people, hence why you might be giving them the cold shoulder. For others of you, if you're giving this person the cold shoulder, or maybe you're not, probably not even doing that intentionally. It's, it's just because of the past and... You know, maybe you're finding it hard to trust or love again. But this person with the Two of Wands is trying to work out some... They're trying to work out a plan on how to maybe move things forward with you here. But they definitely see you in their vision. They definitely see you in their future. Well, they're trying to work out a way here on how to, yeah, maybe close the gap. I'm getting travel here for some reason. So this new love interest or this new person that comes in uh, might want to plan a, a getaway because they're looking to the future. They're making plans to travel here, but it could be just to get you away from your environment, especially if you're distracted here with something. They, they are planning on how can I take my aqua away and kind of distract them from um, the energy that they're in. But yeah, that's all I've got for you, Aqua. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.